Several millennia before it ever adorned a martini, the olive and its oil were central to many ancient economies. Today, olives remain as popular as ever. Not only are they tasty, they're also healthy, low in calories and cholesterol, and high in dietary fiber and iron. Olives are inedible unless they're pickled. These gourmet olives are stuffed by hand with all kinds of fillings, from almonds to garlic cloves, even blue cheese. Straight from the field, they go into barrels of brine. For nine months, they ferment, their hard and bitter flesh becoming softer and sweeter. Then it's onto a conveyor that takes them to the cleaning area, where workers remove leaves and other debris. Next, they drop onto a belted conveyor. The openings between the belts gradually widen. As an olive reaches an opening exceeding its width, it falls through into a barrel below. By the time the olives reach the end of the conveyor, they're all sorted by size, from small to extra large. The next stop is the pitting room. The first phase of the pitting operation is a spinning drum with olive-sized pockets lining its perimeter. As the drum rotates, an olive settles into each pocket. This lines them up so that they exit the drum in a line, onto the conveyor that transports them to the pitting machine. The machine pits 900 olives per minute. Let's slow it down to show you what happens. A coring knife enters one end of the olive, pushing the pit out the other end. As the pit exits, it creates a hole that's just the perfect size for the stuffing. Next, a quality inspection. Workers weed out any olives that aren't perfect. Then it's off to the stuffing department. These beauties are being stuffed with pickled garlic cloves. The stuffer cuts the cloves into whole-sized pieces, then inserts one piece into each olive. It's the same procedure with other stuffings, such as jalapeno peppers, sun-dried tomatoes, habanero peppers, onions, almonds, and more. Workers empty the baskets of stuffed olives onto a table of empty jars spreading them around until every jar is full. On their way to the capping machine, the open jars pass under nozzles that fill them with fresh brine. An air jet blows off just a bit to help the cap go on easily. From there, it's into the capping machine, which twists a lid on each jar, heat sealing it for an airtight fit, then stamping on a lot number for tracking purposes. Finally, the jars head into a machine that rolls on an adhesive label. The brine serves as a natural preservative, giving these delectable gourmet olives a two-year shelf life. <laughs>